Hello everyone and welcome to a whole new video. Here we're going to be doing a painting completely from imagination. Uh, the best thing about doing a painting from imagination is you can paint whatever you like in whatever colour you like. Um, if you'd like to follow along feel free to grab a bit of paper and some paints and some brushes and join in. Um, so my idea is to be painting a uh, seascape with a small boat so i've decided to choose a red for the sky and a yellow um, mixing these two together will create an orange uh, it's a typical color for a sky or a sunset and i thought it looked great together so here you can see me putting the two colors together and it's starting off the sky i put a white at the bottom it's going to signify the light coming from the sun which you'll later see me putting in and yeah so the next step i decided to mix the blue and the red and that started to create a sea effect now you can see i put a bit of white in because i thought it was a bit too dark um, but yeah you see as the painting progresses the picture will start to come to life anyway the next part was the clouds now i use the color of which I started with the sea to start with the clouds. I always start with a lighter color for the clouds. Uh, the reason for this is the sun is usually behind the clouds and the sun is bright and it's gonna create the lighter side of the clouds. So you're gonna see that on the insides of the clouds and around the clouds. Um, and then I layer up with a slightly darker color as I go along. As you see right now I'm just starting to put some more details on the clouds and the sea. Um, the, in the middle of the sea is where you will see the reflection coming for the sun. Now the reflection of the sun will start to create a great ripple effect. Um, this is very important in bringing out the picture and you'll see as the painting goes along it will create that effect. Now it doesn't matter what colors you use, if you're using a slightly different color red or you're using a darker red or a lighter yellow, uh, you can still create these effects and uh, all different colors will give you different results, but they're all beautiful. If you mix them together and you, you blend them right, they'll all create a great effect. Now, as you see, the paint is starting to come a bit, bit, more, uh, bit more to effect and I'm starting to put even more details onto the painting. I've started to bring the ripples out. Uh, what's important is the darker, darker features, the darker colors, um, waves in general, waves from the sea. They are usually three, three different shades of one color. So it's good to use a, a neutral color as your base color. If you use your neutral color as your base color, you can then go around that and uh, use darker colors to create a wave effect and lighter colors to create a reflection. Now, as I'm coming to the final stage of my painting, you can see I've decided to put some white dots. It's gonna create a sparkle from the sea. I brought out the sun slightly more by putting more white in and uh, I've surrounded that with a nice yellow hue. The final stage, I thought I'd add in this small boat small boat is like a silhouette anyway i hope you've enjoyed the video feel free to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one